Hi there, Nightwing son. And somebody came on my Instagram the other day and was like, he meant he meant an acronym. No, actually, I meant a homonym. What you mean? I meant a homonym. But it is also an acronym as well. Popular hot ass gossiper. Yes, God. Fag. But it's a it's a homonym because Well, break it down, Craig, because you got your right. come on, break it down. Right. A homonym is a word that sounds alike, it's spelled differently, and it has different meanings. Yes. Mm. So it's actually both. It's a homonym and it's an acronym. Please don't try to correct me, people. <laughs> Craig, let them know you have your HSBC. I do. HS. <laughs> Somebody came on my Instagram last week talking about he meant an acronym. No, I meant what I said. But it's also it, it, it is also an acronym. It is. It's both. Anyway, how y'all doing? <laughs> how y'all doing? Did y'all miss us? <laughs> y'all were tearing my Instagram up. And one more thing my lawyers want me to say, <laughs> CraigTheWriterStewart.com is not for you to be messaging me stories, talking about, oh, y'all need to talk about this. Uh-uh, we got this. We did not ask for story submissions. <laughs> when you go over to CraigTheWriterStewart.com, you are going there to purchase one or all four of my books, or to sign up for Patreon or something, or to get tickets for Fag Talk. Hold on, wait a minute. They all over my website talking about, uh, can you put this in? Uh-uh, that is for you to purchase books. <laughs> It is there to purchase books. Don't be going over there clogging up my inbox. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> How y'all doing? We got so much to talk about today. So much. But I got a dinner party at my house tonight, so I can't be here too late. You can't. Uh-uh. And you got stuff to do, too. Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah. So. Ooh. Yes. We want to talk about, like, we left off and we were talking about, um... The uh, shy, the shy. We were talking about the shy, mm -hmm. but then after we were talking about the shy, we were talking about how people want to ostracize and how they. Oh, let me move this. I don't want this to really be in the way. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there it is. <laughs> um, and so we, Jamie, I said it's an acronym and it's a homonym. Girl, go look up the words. Girl, don't try to keep correcting me in these comments. So we were talking about the way that uh black people and kind of like the way blacks and and stuff really wants to ostracize the girls and want to peel the girls you know the cap back. cap back because you know we're the fags and and trainees and dykes and whatever it is so mm -hmm. recently we just watched a a, a thing mo i'd like for you to play play the thing all right here we go Aiden yeah and seven for Bergen episcopal abby olson out very well is Gallagher and McDaniel in lane two. You're going to see Gallagher later on in the relays. Great knees, great drive. Gallagher, the victory here in section number one. 25 49. Second and Wilson in 3077. Third is Geispers in 3131. Fourth, Messiel. So, Boosie, did you put what Boosie said? No, I just finished the video right now. Okay, so Boosie said this. Y'all know how Boosie spell. You know, we had a spell off. <laughs> oh. Remember, remember when me and Boosie had our mm -hmm. spell off? It says. Y'all need to take y'all. What? Come on, Craig, help us. Y'all need, need to take, take y'all in. Make y'all in make a on, only on schools, on, 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 on gyms. On. I'm going to read it how he got okay, it. Okay, read it, Craig. But you know what he oh, I, say. I don't know. Read I, it. I don't know what the nigga trying to say. You know what Craig, you trying do? to say? You what, know what he said? What, what he wrote was, Craig, read it. <laughs> y'all need to take y'all in, make y'all on league, on schools, on gym. <laughs> Six of sick of y'all doing this to girls who have worked. Greet it, Craig. He's is, that, trying to, is that an acronym? He's trying to say hard. Oh, okay. They hold lives to be successful. You trannies. That uh -huh. would be, that well, would be he, you. He got that right. 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 You now, trannies. Now he spelled that right. <laughs> he spelled that because right. If you put it in Google, all the trannies come up. Uh huh. So we know he knew how to spell that. Well, technically, he should have turned that Y into an I E S. He could have, but that's the nigga way to do it. Right, right. Yeah. You trannies need your own everything. 
Parents need to boycott at the White House and stop this. It's sick. It's not fair at all. They need Transformer University. <laughs> in, he spelled that right. He did because he knows the trains words. <laughs> in, in, right. He has those together. Right. Uh, in Trans High, soon they go ha- they go have oh. women college teams with all trannies. Sad. Okay, girl, I think I got a headache. I don't know if it's the alcohol or that. <laughs> well, girl, we got good alcohol. We drank. Yeah, we got good alcohol today. Oh, uh, we always have good alcohol. <laughs> Come on, finish the story, girl. I, I'm gonna hate to say this, but there are there are some sentiments of that that I agree. I I I think that we we should have our own certain things. Okay. I feel that we should have our own sports. We should have our own leagues. We should have our own teams. We should have these things. So now when we were talking about this earlier, my question to you was, it was more rhetorical, but are there enough trans athletes in different categories to be able to create a whole team though? Okay, well, here's the thing. With, with the way that we are... Uh, coming into ourselves and we are coming more out and more people are finding themselves falling under the non-binary, the, the, the trans category, mm-hmm. the, the LBGT, how many people are identifying. Okay, I see people are saying there isn't enough trans people there, but Kano, there is. But there are not enough people. I'm talking about athletes though. There, I think there are enough trans people moving through the world, but you ain't no athlete. Hey, bitch, I can whoop ass though. <laughs> so I can you, whoop ass. So you're going to go with the MMA man? Bitch, I can whoop ass. <laughs> and then and I then, can whoop. Hold on. Go ahead. Because I know there's a lot of bitches watching. Uh-huh. I can whoop ass. I can shoot. Uh, Maddie, that's uh, not a sport though. It, it will be. <laughs> with, a, with a motherfucker that need to be shot. <laughs> Bitch, I can whoop ass. <laughs> Unless you're talking about boxing or MMA. I can whoop not, ass. Not, that's not a sport. Or whatever. <laughs> I can get in the paint. But see, I predict what's going to happen. But you're not happen. talking about basketball. Oh. But, but, if, but what happens is, and I, I can already see this happening, if they did create sports for trans, <laughs> let's say they had uh, trans... Oh. Um, Running, what's that shit called? Oh, track, track and field. field. Track and field. If they track got into field. track and field, if they got into wrestling and whatever else, mm-hmm. then what's gonna happen is you're gonna have trans people saying, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, she ain't trans. She non-binary. She don't really count." <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be all of that bullshit. That could that could happen. Okay. Then the, then the trans girls gonna turn on the non-binaries. Okay. The them and days. Okay, that could happen. They don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> they don't belong here. Which they? Which them. they? Which they are you talking about? Them. <laughs> them. Them non-binary girls. <laughs> them non-binary children. <laughs> but we is transmission fluid. Correct. I don't think, honestly, that there's anything wrong with it. Well, and, well, because there's not enough, I mm-hmm. see the people in the comments saying that there's not enough. Yeah, just, to, just like feel like full sports teams. And I'm talking, and I'm not just talking about one particular sport. I'm just saying sports across the board. You right. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think that would be the, the, the biggest dilemma. Uh, somebody said the w-, w NBA started with eight teams. Started with eight true. teams. Which is true. Okay. I mean, started. I don't know how none of that shit go more. You more of an expert because I hear your ESPN and your <laughs> and your other apps go off well, all day over well, here. Well, no. And your other saying. apps always going off over there. <laughs> Wait, what, 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 what are the other apps? What are the other apps, <laughs> Maddie? Because I'm confused too. <laughs> <laughs> what it sound like? <laughs> that's a vi- that's vibration. That's vibration, man. Is that is that Bumble? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm, not. I'm not on any dating apps. Oh, you're not. I'm not on any dating apps. You're not gonna find me. On oh, there. okay. Well, apparently I'm on something too, child. I didn't pop, popped up on some new app that I just found out about the other day. <laughs> if you see me on dating apps, that's not me. Really? I, right. That's not me. Okay, well it's me, and I do I, the money that I the money that you've been requesting for the nudes. You know which app that I told you to send the money to. <laughs> The money that you've been requesting for the nudes, you know where to send it. I'm, I'm telling just, you, you know where it goes. Just send my 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 uh 
My rate though, just in my my portion of the <laughs> maybe, but uh, hey, maybe you using my picture. You just denied it wasn't you. <laughs> How do they know? It? Well, see, I told y'all I had it. I told you niggas I had the picture. I air dropped it to myself. <laughs> And the video. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. That is too uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, I don't want to be some type of way because, you know, I'm, I'm just over it uh, with the way that this big thing is about the way trans are. Mm -hmm. I'm not into sports. That's not my thing. I, mm -hmm. I will battle if I need to. Mm -hmm. If I'm ever <laughs> tried, bitch, or ever tested in a space where I got the motherfucking UFC or whatever the fuck it is, I'm with it. <laughs> but what's wrong with it? I, just like I'm not opposed to I, I, us having a bathroom. Mm hmm. I think the easiest thing in terms of the bathroom thing, it would be easier just to just do, um, and I saw this the other week, it would just be uh, unisex bathrooms, period. But they're individual stalls. I you know what I mean? They're closed off. I wouldn't trust individual, I wouldn't trust unisex. They bathrooms. actually have some already. Yeah, but the reason why, and the, the reason why I say I wouldn't trust it isn't because of what people think. It's because of, the, I'm going to go way off, I'm going to go way to left field, but it's because I think there are people out there that will take advantage of situations like well, that. Well, of course. Like they like I could I could see I could see like a heterosexual man claiming which we've seen in in news claiming that they are maybe non-binary or trans just to go into a bathroom. I, that that and, is true. And do some messed up stuff. That is true, but that's not always and and a lot of that stuff is propaganda. Yeah. I do feel and a lot of that stuff is plants. Yeah. That I that I feel uh, have tried to, especially now we're in election, mm -hmm. in election time. I do feel that that's heavily, you know, and and they know that those are ploys that are put there to help uh, 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 in the fear mongering. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, but what's wrong? I'd like to ask the trans people, <clears throat> what is wrong with us? having our own bathroom because i'm gonna go to any one of the motherfuckers the male well the you know female, what I, you, the <laughs> trash the, the family room which you've done I, I, you know i do it mo when that when that women's bathroom be long i'm, I'm like, like oh, oh, that i'm shit. like what y'all uh, okay bye bitch yeah. bitch because it's the pee right Better be like, fuck that shit. Fuck that. I don't think it would be a problem for trans well i don't think it would be a problem having the bathrooms I think what happens is if we started having bathrooms that are specifically trans, it could. It needs to just say gender neutral. Correct. That's because, what it needs to say. Because if it says something like trans or something like that, then you may have people that might start attacking people. They looking at them going to right. that bathroom. Or you may have girls who haven't fully transitioned. Or even if they do fully tra transition, they may not want everybody to know they trans because they going in that bathroom. You know True. what I mean? Yeah. Like you got folk who are positive, who They're, don't all listen. No, I'm just I'm making a point. Who are positive, <laughs> who don't like to go and get their treatment because the people know that this is the place that you go to get your tic tacs. So a lot of times people won't go and get treatment. They have free HIV drugs, but a lot of people won't even go and get it because they don't want to be seen in those spaces. Even though you can get your 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 tic tacs mailed mailed to you, in the mail. Uh, okay, we understand all that, but at the but, but a lot. No, of, I don't like the way you just no because, that. Craig, <laughs> I, because I, Craig, we gonna be on this for weeks. No, again. I was just trying to I was just trying to draw a comparison. Be on this shit for weeks. It's the same thing. <laughs> we gonna be on this shit for weeks. Oh my god. Well, girl, at least they'll get off of you with that bigo bigo shit. I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> I don't give a fuck nothing about that because I can meet a bitch in the, in their face that feels some type of way. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Well, not, I can't really meet them in, in their face because we don't occupy some of the same <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, now go ahead. What were you going to say? See, Craig, see how you cooked that and stay got me back in there? <laughs> I had left that. I had left that alone. You go. just cranking me with that. Go ahead. Go on now, Craig. 
Well, no, I'm just saying. I just think that. So, for example, somebody said earlier that they, that's only like that in the clubs where you have the unisex bathrooms. But it's not. There are certain airports. In fact, there was some um, white woman who's in. Uh, I don't remember what her role is. She might be in Congress. But her video went viral because she was actually in a bathroom, um, which was unisex. It was at an airport. Mm -hmm. And the whole bathroom, it was a, it was beautiful, but it was these small, it was these individual stalls and they had locks on them. You know what I mean? And the only thing that was, um, communal was where you washed your hands. I mean, it was perfect. Okay. Yeah, it was Kansas city airport. Thank you. Somebody else saw that. All right. So here's the thing. Mo, remember when we were out of the country? Mm -hmm. Remember when we were in Europe? Yeah. And we went to eat. Yes. And Craig, you were just in Europe, in France, because mm -hmm. you're a rich punk. No, no, no. <laughs> I was over there on the grant. Oh, that's what you're calling it? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm rich. <laughs> and so I was in France because I was rich and I was on vacation. And we're going to do South Africa the year after next. Uh huh. But that's another story. Uh huh. But I'm rich, and so we were in we were in the United Kingdom. Uh, where were you, girl? United. K were we in the UK? Yeah. yeah. No, no, I no, no, no. The, no, no. I was in the UK for work because I hosted a show called. Yeah, Bring yeah. Back. That was that was when I, we got I, back. I, I host a show for VH1 right, Viacom. Right, right. It's called Bring Back My Girls. Uh huh. For Viacom. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> uh, and I was in Europe for that, <laughs> but I was in Europe for something else. Uh huh for the, the the other thing that we were we do whatever mm -hmm. mo you were there yes I was. and um we went to the bathroom <laughs> and when we got into the bathroom it was just like unisex right and that's what somebody in the comments said it's been like that and i was just like me and Legger was in the bath, walking in the bathroom, and so the dude was in there washing his hands, and they walked past, and we walked, and we just walked, and we was looking like, what the fuck? Right. <laughs> I think we make such a big deal about that here, but then also you got to tie in. Did somebody say for which for, for Viacom? <laughs> <laughs> you got to tie. In. Wait, wait, they, for which company, sir? Viacom. <laughs> for Viacom, the one that I got this thing from for. <laughs> Viacom. <laughs> I'm sorry, you asked. Uh, um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, okay. I think ahead. when we have issues like that with like bathrooms and stuff like that here, and it's not that way in Europe, certain parts of Europe, and don't think that they don't have biases because biases because they do. Um, but I think it's because we're so quote unquote tied into religion in this country. It's interesting how religion plays such a part in everything here, mm -hmm. but it's some of the most evil and nasty people in this country when you look at the division between communities whether it's race or sexuality or whatever it's like you all claim to be so religious and so you know tied to god but but then you're able to do all of this stuff in your everyday life so i think that's part of it where over there they don't get into all of that yeah i think over there they're not really big on like they don't make a big issue on sexuality or uh gender identity and stuff now racism yeah if we want to talk about racism over mm -hmm. there, yeah, it's real big oh, over there. Oh, for sure. Yes, because we definitely experience it. <laughs> right. Because as dark as Mo is, you know, <laughs> and the way that they fetish men so dark mm -hmm. over there, he couldn't even get a cab. <laughs> and we were walking down the fucking street and trying to get a cab. And what, what, which part of Spain? What, was it Ibiza? No, or Barcelona. It was Barcelona, no, Barcelona and Ibiza too, right? No, was it Bar Ibiza was better than Barcelona though. Ibiza was way better than Barcelona. Mm -hmm. Barcelona is actually very known for being uh being racist. It was so it was insane. Yeah. Like we I, I stopped the cab and I was like, they asked, I finally stopped one after about 30 minutes. They said, How many of you? Yeah, we couldn't get one for well, two well, where, hours. Well, where was Jameson? Oh, he, he wasn't, wasn't with, with us. us. Oh, okay. I was gonna say somebody should have sent her out there to get the cab. <laughs> Jameson doesn't have a passport. What's, but once I told them, I said, I said, now there's about a good. Shady. It was. Oh, that was. I, I told them because shady. I'll be in. I'll actually be in um, Canada tomorrow working for Viacom. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I, oh, and I'll be here. You'll be there, but I'll be I'll be working for Viacom again in Canada. You see, and I'm not gonna be there. It's okay, but I'll bring you home something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm not being arrogant. I'm just pointing out the facts that I'll be, I'll be in a Canada. Oh, excuse me. Well, it's the Canadian Viacom, mm -mm. but I'll be there. Well, I know mm. you'll be getting some bacon. Yes, <laughs> I'll most definitely be there getting Canadian bacon, <laughs> and so I won't be able to be on YouTube or social media because I'll be collecting definitely that. Definitely not bigger. Craig, stop it. <laughs> There is nothing wrong with motherfucking Beagle. Those girls make a coin over there oh. on Beagle. Dear Lord. They do. <laughs> I just make more. But let's go. <laughs> I knew that wasn't the end. I do, of but you know. I <clears throat> now I wasn't fucking with them people, Craig. I wasn't fucking with them. We was talking about the Chinese. <laughs> the what? The Chinese. Bro, how many syllables? <laughs> And how they motherfucking done implemented the shit and then they put TikTok over fucking here <laughs> and started fucking with everybody. They got all the people over there doing the, the TikTok, everybody TikTok dancing and shit. <laughs> and I'm not even on TikTok. And quiet as it's kept, I'm not even on TikTok and my impressions reached hundreds of millions. Yeah. So even if I go somewhere and I'm not even there, my presence makes the noise mm -hmm. because I am who? T.S. Madison, bitch. But we talked about that shit. That's that was cyber war. It is. It's been that. Yeah. And and you want to know? You want to be one hundred? The warfare started with Atari. The game, bitch. All them niggas sat down there. They had, bitch, everybody had a joystick. Then it went from. Well, was it a white man that created Atari? Listen, come on. We talking about, listen, hold up. Bitch, the Xbox came. You couldn't tell a nigga from an Xbox. No, it was the PlayStation. And the PlayStation. Came. You couldn't tell yeah. niggas from that. Had niggas fucking up their TVs with the it's, remote control. It's <laughs> all, it, it has always been. It has always been. Technolo technology. Technology. And it's always. that, And that was my point. Mm -hmm. We've been infiltrated this way to have our minds thrown completely off mm -hmm. from being focused on stuff. Bitch, nigga, them niggas ain't trying to get ain't trying to get smart. They ain't trying to go down to HSBC like you did. Miss mm -mm. Gladys wasn't never finna let you have no ex, no PlayStation or no ex. Bitch, you better go to school. Put that goddamn game down and get in them books. Mm -mm. Right or wrong? That's right. Because I definitely had me a super. Uh, what was it called? PlayStation. I had a PlayStation growing up. Yeah, yep. but you had, but you had to turn that motherfucking place. It's niggas that sit on that shit all day. Well, fuck up and then get back on the PlayStation. <laughs> okay. Or, or however it go. We'll we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll fuck up first PlayStation or PlayStation first. Then fuck up. If you're not making money from it, there's no reason why you should be on it all day. If you're not making money from it, because there are people that that do do that play that do play PlayStation and all that that they actually make a lot of money from it. But if mm. you're not, there's no reason for you to be on that thing 24 7. Now, I'm not going to lie. I have a PlayStation, but it's not But it's not that I play it all the time. It's, it's something that I use. It's something that I play like that helps me like relax and clear my day, like clear my mind from all the. Have you ever played war games on there? I used to, but I don't anymore. Mm. The only, I only, like, the only thing I play on there is because I'm African, I play soccer games. That's about it. It's called football. You're right, but for I those know. that are not no, international, no, no. we got smart people. Don't be trying to. No, I'm saying for those don't, that are not international, be, they, ain't got, they ain't got to be international. <laughs> don't be trying to dumb out people now. They know the fuck soccer. <laughs> but but they, if I say football, they might think I'm talking about NFL. No, 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 no. They know that, that you from Africa and y'all call foot, y'all call soccer football. No, no, no. <laughs> foot, foot, football, football. Really? Like, no? Football. <laughs> Okay, but I only play like it's just something to unwind. Like the end of the day, before I go to sleep, I might play for like an hour, hour and a half before I go before I actually go to sleep, and then that's it. But to sit down and just be playing video games at the age of thirty six from sun up to sundown, no, I can't do that. God that's forbid. a motherfucker that ain't got no job. God but forbid. they, but this, but again, this it assisted in that. Like, come on. I mean, you're right. I'm not, I'm not and, and, and here's right. the thing. I'm not saying anything that's that's so that's so far fetched. Mm -hmm. 
I, and it's the same thing I said. It's, it's what they did to us with these apps because we're so we're embedded in these apps. Well, well that's social media. Period. Period. But the, but the ones that were specifically made from the Chinese. From the who girl? The Chinese. <laughs> that's why they're trying to ban TikTok. Uh, right. Because the Americans can't ain't got no control over it. But right. Now, now that, if it was an American control, that would have been different story. Correct. Now I do even though I said that's why they're trying to ban it, I think there's a lot of bullshit behind it too. I do think that, that that's a that's a real threat that it's one hundred percent owned by a Chinese company and they can pull they, there can be data breaches and all that kind of shit. But my especially when you get to uh selling shit on a TikTok shop, you gotta give everything but your damn blood type over there. <laughs> but I do think that U.S. government doesn't like the fact that so many people, black, white, whatever, gay, straight, whatever, have started to mobilize and really bring real issues. They've really started to use TikTok, not just for TikTok dances and the eight count and all that other shit, but they have really started to galvanize on there and like brought real issues to the surface. Uh, Forever Maya said, if, it was a, if America controlled it, it wouldn't be so lucrative. It, it, correct. You're right. But I that's why, agree. again, right. that's why Bigo was very, Bigo is very lucrative. You said it is? It is very lucrative. Oh. It is very lucrative over there, especially to people that, is, that have never made 24000 or $32,000 a month. There's for people that have never made that, that is extremely lucrative. Because, bitch, when I was, when I was not in the, pay, in, in, in the tax bracket that I'm in now, uh -huh. And twenty four thousand dollars or thirty two thousand dollars a month was a lot, bitch. Those are my regular. Bitch. My one of my mortgages is ten thousand fucking dollars. Okay, so bitch, come on. So that is a lot of money to some people that are, that especially that will get in there and 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 that's and they focus and they channel and they put all their energy. That is a lot of money, right. bitch. A lot, a shitload of money. Mm -hmm. So. You say, so how is Beagle different from Zeus Network? Um, none. <laughs> it's no different. What's the difference? <laughs> I talked the same way about Zeus. Mm -hmm. I said the Zeus, uh, Lemmy took the power. They took the power from the VH1 folk the white folks from beach one and they they just moved the seat over mm. all they wanted to move they wanted to move the crocker out the way out of the seat and sit there so didn't didn't, didn't want to make no changes to it didn't want it they just wanted to be in control of it mm -hmm. and because they were in control of it you know you would think that there would be some changes made but it wasn't and hey we like we as people have been conditioned to consume trash and and find that any anything that's educational for us or anything that's that that's uplift us is boring. It's late. It's tired. I don't want to mm -hmm. watch that. I need to see a bottle come across a bitch head. I need to see somebody be stabbed. I need to be. I need exposés. I need to be people camping outside. I because I need to be in the mess because people are going to be there in the mess and this this is where they're going to be in the droves. Mm -hmm. And then you know what they do? They they have shows. Bitch, I'm, I'm pulling out of T9. Mm -hmm. They have shows like RuPaul's Drag Race that sits there in, in the slots, get all the good views, get all the good stuff. And those are the shows that actually people are buying advertisement spots and they use all the mess, all the messy shit to bring the viewers there and the viewers that stay and are interested in buying, they buy through RuPaul's Drag. This is why we are, this is why we're on season seven fucking Dean. And all the countless spinoffs and bring back my girls and all this stuff because people are buying into that. People are this is where the this is where the money is funneled. The money's funneled through there. Mm -hmm. And once the money's funneled through there, the real advertisers that are spending millions of dollars. We're not talking about hundreds of thousands. <laughs> right. We're talking about the ones that are spending millions of dollars during those slots. Mm -hmm. during those spaces that's where they are spending the millions of dollars you may get a you may get a love and hip-hop advertisement probably they got a good ad through it here and there get a good little spot right here but the advertisers that are coming back to really spend money are during those RuPaul drag race hour 
and that fucking uh, 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 what's the one I do after the uh, untucked? Like they spending money through these things because this is where the people that are coming. It's just like World Star. Mm -hmm. It's people that are on that are on World Star right now. Since we're talking about views, mm -hmm. world people that are on World Star get World Star views, millions and millions of views. But do you even remember anything? Does it count for anything? Right. Like when people be telling me about how how I get this amount of views and they get this, I'm like, you're likening me to a world star view. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows those people on world star. We could just talk about the video. Right. In this space, they're talking about the person, which is the TS, bitch. Don't get mad at me because these are facts. Don't be angry with me because these are facts. World Star is racist just like Atlanta Scoop. Those of you that follow that. Well, Atlanta Scoop is owned by, by white people. Oh, I know. So wait, is at World Star owned by white people too? I don't know who owns World well, Star. Well, what about Vlad TV? That's yeah, that's a whole white that's a whole white man right there. And the funny thing was that re, I, I sometime this year he was he was going after somebody for using somebody says I'm going to swing that topic back to me. Yes, because this is the TS Madison channel. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is TS Madison presents Maddie in the morning presenting fag talk. <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you for being here on my, funny, on my platform. And the thing about Vlad, <laughs> the thing about Vlad was that when Vlad, Vlad made his whole come up on black people. Yeah. And then he turned around and started getting on somebody else. For doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Child. Listen. Okay. Again, let's circumvent this back to what we were talking about with, with Boosie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Most definitely. There, people were waiting on me to drag him. By the, and I actually was like, uh, now putting us out of, now taking us away from us, needing us to have our own school, our own bathroom bath well bath I'm, mm. school it's the school part for me it's yeah, it's the really. school it's all that type of stuff like we don't need to be educated with everybody else we need to have this shit over here we don't need to be in the same like i can't we need to, we, we we don't need to be at the hsbc you whatever colleges because we're trainees and see i feel slightly differently because i think that that's I think segregating in that way. I think that trans people or queer people should be socialized. We see the Nigerian comment, but we don't have to stay there. I'm just saying. Thank I, you. I, I, what do you mean? It was just up there for like five seconds. It's been there too long. Really? Oh, so you see prejudice. Y I might be. See, I told you. You don't have prejudice. to stay there that long in that. Well, well, well the, owner of, <laughs> the owner of Shade Room is prejudiced against black people, American <laughs> blacks. And trainees. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Yes, really. I'm not going to say prejudice. I'll say he does. Uh, I'll say he wants to make a lot of money. She or she? It's a woman. Oh, I didn't know. I just know. I that. do. Oh, okay. I wore her ass out before. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would say like. I don't know. Uh, so we don't need to keep that up there. That segregating. Long. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Excuse me. I don't know if I would <laughs> talk about segregating. Now, when we were talking, excuse me, about this yesterday or today or whenever it was, I do think. It was today. It was today. Mm -hmm. I do think that there should, like when, when you had sex education in elementary school or mm -hmm. middle school, whenever you had it, I do think, and this is where I said I know a lot of parents wouldn't like this, but I do think that when we start talking about sex education, it should be tailored to humanity in general. So like, I think there should be conversations around gay sex. I think there should be stuff that uh, lends itself to transsexuality and all that kind of stuff. And, or even maybe it's some sort of a class that the queers are excused to so they can learn their stuff. I don't know. I just kind of feel like when you start separating it, though, it kind of suggests or sends the message that, oh, no, you all don't need to learn this. Let them go over there. It almost yeah. kind of separates it. I and, I, and you know what I mean? It kind of makes them feel ostracized in some kind of way. But I Who's think that them? the Not straights. Oh, the straight and the parents of okay. those kids, because you're gonna have those parents that are gonna be like, uh, uh, I don't want, because you got parents that don't even want their kids to get sex education. Okay, and and if if we're gonna say that, then I'm I'm with that. If if your stance is you don't want your kids learning about sex, I'm all right with that. But when it comes down to 
about learning about sexuality in general, like in totality, I was forced to learn about. Well, that's my point. Straight right. sex. I don't. And I, I was forced. Excuse me, Mo. I know they did this in Africa too. No, I was no, forced to learn know. about straight sex. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting over there in my skin, in my body, in my beings. Like I don't want no pussy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have. I'm not a dyke. So why did I have to keep learning about this? Like, cause I'm not gonna lay on top of. This is not the way I'm gonna lay on top of a woman. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah. Funny enough, they never did. That. They never did that uh, in Nigeria. Like what? They, they told. They taught you about anatomy, but they never. They you never had any sex education in Nigeria. You didn't. No. So you didn't learn how to put the condom on. Oh, okay. that's why y'all don't it's, wear it's, any. It's, 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 no, it was instinctual. Oh, that's why y'all instinctual. Oh, that's what? why y'all. Oh, that's so. Why isn't it instinctual here? Well, they're in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, what, you, what I hear you saying is, no, look, they're using no, condoms in Nigeria, but they're no, not using them here. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. Please, Maddie, why are you putting words in my mouth? I didn't put anything in your I'm mouth. Just, I said words, though. I just said words. I'm just letting you know that I didn't put anything in your mouth. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just I'm, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. No, that's not true. <laughs> There no condoms are you should use those all the time. No, you so, should. You should use those but all the time. But in sex education, they teach you to use condoms. Yes, put, they do. They teach you in sex ed. Well, in commercials, they teach you to use condoms also. You you remember in back in the day, I don't know about now, because I don't really watch TV like yeah, that. Yeah, you know what you talking about back then? Back Okay. I'm not talking about like way back then. I'm no, we talking, talking about back then when you were when, when you were in... younger. Because you're not that young. <laughs> but come on. <laughs> I'm just saying they used to teach you like, hey, wrap it up, strap up. All Apollo, that type of go stuff. away from me with all of this. <laughs> it's true. If Apollo, I'm... go away from me with all of this. Please, <laughs> get my children out of here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> they did used to do Bro, those commercials. Get my, ch my children out of here. <laughs> <laughs> But it has nothing to do with me being African or that I was in Africa that I could that I use condoms. I use condoms. There's nothing wrong with using condoms, especially when you don't want kids. And that's all? Just kids. And, oh, no, right. Right. and, and the diseases. Oh, here we go. And but the see, diseases. This is how we know he's straight. Because <laughs> the first thing on the straight mind is kids. It's well, not, because I it's because, not the S, the T, or the D. Well, because it's the if I'm using the S, the T, well, or the I, I'm, it's the no, kid. The fact is, because if you it's use the a kid, condoms, and this if you're is using why, condoms, and you honey, don't have to worry about that. And other honey, stuff. this is why they got to run those prep commercials through all the straight shows through too. No, it, it would be different. This is exactly why no, Maddie, you have to run those not, prep commercials not, well, through yeah. the straight. No, no, that's true. Do do the straight kid do. That should not be segregated. That should not be segregated. This is exactly why I don't want to see. I don't want to be watching Drag Race and then. 50 minutes every 15 minutes heck of a motherfucking hiv commercial i want to be watching the same commercial when i watch 11 hip-hop because it seemed like they only run the gay the the hiv commercials and uh all that kind of stuff on gay programs bitch uh, first of all the reason i said the first thing that popped in my mind was child was because if you're wearing condoms i don't believe you have to really worry about stds unless you're doing something wrong Unless you're doing something wrong. Where well, you do know that when, if you have a herpes on your lip. Correct. If you have a herpes on your lip. Yeah, that could be transferred. Of and, course. and there's also crabs. Th yes. Of course, it could be transferred. And genital warts. Yes. Genital warts. That, that condoms do not block, prevent. And herpes. I think you just educated him. I did. You did. Because he looks really bewildered. No, you Because condoms right. do not prevent herpes and, and HPV. See how we got to educate you straight? Condoms don't prevent that. I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not above. First, I'm not. First, first, I'm not above. Look, first I'm not come out of that key. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not above. Don't you think I'm that not, we're attacking I'm you? Right. We're not I'm attacking above. you, Mo. Right. No, I'm come, just saying. Come I'm out of that key. I'm not. No, I'm just saying. I'm not above learning something that I don't know. Okay. And I'll admit if I don't know something, and I'm not going to argue. And with that's you why we love you because that's why we love you because you admitted that you didn't know. But we do. If because we are fags. If there are things I don't know, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to argue with you because we are. Facts, and because they have always told us facts that we are going to have all of those things. All of those things. <laughs> the if straights I, have told us all the fact that we're going to get all of those right. things. I'm just yeah, trying if, to if, understand, no, if, if understand why he went up in that key. No, I'm just saying if I don't know something, Mo, we're I'm right here. Gonna, calm down. Oh my calm, calm down. If I don't we're know right here. If I don't know something, I don't mind saying, "Oh, I didn't know that." 
I'm not going to Okay, well, I'm waiting for you to say that about this. What? About what? I didn't know that. I did say I didn't know. Oh, okay. I must have missed it when you got up. In they say a lot of people didn't know that. Right. Uh, and definitely a lot of straights. <laughs> I didn't know. Because the only worry is children. <laughs> girl, we got to go to some other stores, right. girl. You know I got to go. Craig, I mean, we're in here. We're, this, this, this is definitely going to segue to the next thing. Uh, it always does. Uh, we're in here. <laughs> we're in here. So we're definitely going to segue into yes, the indeed. next thing. <laughs> yeah, we talked about the boosie. We talked about because the there's some things I definitely got to hit. Well, come on, let's hit it then. Hit even, it, even if I'm late for my own dinner party. But come on, let's hit it. <laughs> she said, "Tell her to get the cooking." Ah, let's get over here to Caitlyn Jenner. Oh yes, because we did, since we're talking about trans transferring, uh huh, <laughs> transmitting. Uh huh. Uh -huh. That, that bitch transmitted those girls to heaven. Oh, you mean these people? Yes. That bitch transmitted those girls up there to the next plane and got out of her mother. For look at that car wrecked and smashed up like that girl, and she got her like, "Hi guys, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, oh god, did they survive? <laughs> Wait, did they survive? Oh shit, guys, hold on, I got a, I got an appointment with Vanity Fair. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, I'm getting ready for my television show. Hold on, don't let this be a part of my TV show, guys. Hey." <laughs> And then got the nerve to fix her old wrinkly Janice Dickinson mouth up, and bitch, say and say this. <laughs> when OJ died. When OJ perished. That's when that's when Caitlyn tweeted. And she want to fix her motherfucking Janice Dickinson wrinkled up ass lips to say some shit like that. <laughs> that's a mess. When we act like we ain't forget that she ran out there and, and motherfucker killed those people out there in the car and ain't. And, and, and ain't get charged and ain't spend a dime on them people. Right. Down there on the uh uh on the Pacific Coast Highway. Bitch. Ain't 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 spend a dime ain't give them people family a quarter. Nothing. All all said was sorry. If she even said that. That girl I, I, I'm late to my nail appointment. <laughs> <laughs> so I say that boy is not gay. Who are they talking about? I think they're talking about Caitlyn. No, they're talking about uh, NLE Chopper. We, oh, we talking oh, about. oh, okay. Oh, well, we ain't even got to that. I know. Yeah. They, somebody wrote it down there. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. And this is what I'm saying, I. Right. And you want to. Yes, we black people know OJ Simpson killed that white we woman. Sure, we certainly we did. That. Yeah, we all did. We knew that. We were just pulling for him. And if you ask me it today. Was, it was black against and, the, and be, the machine. That's right. Black and if you ask machine. me today, did OJ do it? I'm going to say no. no. Right. <laughs> he did not do it. But in my heart, I know he did. <laughs> Or had something to do with it. Yes. <laughs> I don't believe that he was specifically put his hands in there and choke stabbed or, or whatever they did to the fucking two white but people. He had a hand but in. he stood there and watched it be done. <laughs> Clear, period. But you know what happened? Just a little histor history. What happened was that OJ Simpson verdict came on the heels of that Rodney King shit. After those police out there in California beat his ass up so badly, and then they got off, even though it was on video. Yes. A lot of black people didn't give a fuck if OJ killed the or two not. of them people and nobody else. Correct. That's true. See, we old enough to know this. That's and true. so is Mo. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Just like he watched Challenger blow up on the TV. That's what he did. <laughs> with, with Christy McCullough. Bit, boom. I was like, ah! <laughs> I remember that. Bitch, I watched that Challenger explode. I was a child then. Right, but so you saw it. <laughs> so were we. And you saw it. But, bitch, I watched, oh, you, watch, you damn sure watched OJ go down to one on one, bitch. I did. You watched that white Bronco, and I, and I always wanted a Bronco Jesus. because of that shit. You Jesus. better know it. Because that motherfucker was doing a million miles an hour when they was, was running OJ down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bitch. And not only that, don't quote me because I know the police in here, <laughs> but I think her name was Rakia Boyd, I think. But it was a young girl in California, in L.A. Um, she went into a, a little Korean-owned store. Um, let me say Asian. I, believe, I think she was Korean, though. And she went in there, and she went to buy like some milk or orange juice or something. And the Chinese lady or the Asian lady, the Korean lady, whatever she was, shot this girl in her head and killed her. All of that happened around the same time. It was that. It was the OJ. I mean, the... Um, the Rodney, Rodney King shit, yeah. and then OJ. Yeah. So black people were pissed. Hot. Yeah. Hot. Because if you talk to any black person, every black person said, 
I know he did it, but Bitch. I want him to get off. And here's the thing. We watched them police officers beat Rodney King out there in that street. Like, we watched that happen on TV. You did too, Mo. We watched him. <laughs> why do y'all keep Why do y'all keep just reminded, me? This is, it, you, have you ever heard Cozy? This is a reminder. But anyway. <laughs> that's her name, Natasha <laughs> Natasha Harlins. That's her name. Bitch. And when they was being, when they was stomping that man out there, and those police got away, and when that shit happened with OJ, we said, "Well, he just like they didn't do it, he didn't either." Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Just like they didn't do it, bitch. He did. He didn't do it the fuck either. Right.